Hey guys, welcome to the pilot episode one IF TV. Alright, so I'm in gym here with Individual Fitness. This is Kate. Hey, hey. Alright, and we are so excited. We have our first uh, episode is jam packed. We have an actual client testimonial, which you're going to meet shortly. We uh, have a little QA as far as factor fiction, where we head the streets. And then we also uh, our what's I have what's cooking with I have what is cooking what's in the kitchen oh my god it is are you are you oh, I'm just excited I'm excited and it and is to bring you uh, the education as far as what you may think you know what you do know what's out there I have TV this is it this is it episode we one are it. oh my god watch out for nine hundred ninety nine thousand. You know, because the one million, we're going to count. Don't, he's always ahead of himself. Yeah. Just, okay, this is the episode. Here episode and now. Maybe. Right here. Here and now. Okay. Now, the other thing is, we have that Q&A uh, question. Get your questions in. Either email us at jim at individualfitnessllc.com. Ask questions on the Facebook. Um, you can now remember, you're seeing this on our YouTube channel. I N B F I T in fit. That's in our channel. Fit. In fit. Um, our website. The other thing, um, email the questions for our staff at individualfitnessllc at comcast.net. I mean, we're here to help you, you know, to educate you, motivate you, hold you accountable. I mean, all you... fired up. Yeah, let's kick, let's kick it off. All right, here it is. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna visit with uh, our next client, a little client testimonial. Good morning guys, uh, Jim here, and uh, now with this segment here is we're getting a little experience from our, our valued clients. And today we have Deborah, one of uh, many of our, our valued clients, but we're going to get to know a little bit more of her story and her experiences here at IF. So Deborah, how long have you been a client with us? I started five years ago in March. Wow, wow, that's a, that's a long time now. Do you remember how you heard of us? Yes, we were visiting Egypt with a friend who is also a client, and uh, one of the people on the trip is a friend of ours, Steve Gordon, and we were talking about the aging process, and you know, being a postmenopausal woman, you're afraid of um, osteoporosis and all of that. I wasn't doing any weight, so. He's like, you've got to get in there. So we did. I and came in after we got back. Awesome. After the holidays, we got back in the late fall and then started in the first of the year. So. Awesome. Awesome. Now, can you, can you share with us a little bit about, you know, other than, you know, postmenopausal, but what other, like, fitness goals, I mean, when you, you came in and had in mind? Uh, it was low energy and needed muscle toning and strengthening. And I needed a better golf swing. Okay, now after five years, would you say you have it? If I can keep my head still and not lift up, yes. Okay, and I have golfed with her, and she is a very good golfer. <laughs> I, on, my other hand, on the other hand, I don't know, her and her husband Chuck, Chuck and I are more, more on the, you know, we're out the, the Nike swoosh. You're and all erratic. That. Yeah, yeah. So the head down, that's, yeah. a, good, that's a good one. Um, now the other thing is here, um, now you've traveled a lot. Was that ever a fear as far as what are you going to do with, with your workouts and everything? And, and how have you managed that? Well, we have two homes and um, we spend quite a bit of time in the warm weather in the winter. And I was concerned about losing a couple of weeks at a time of toning and, and weights and, all, you know, that kind of thing. So you and the other team has given have given me a workout that I can do with a set of dumbbells and um, we have different things at the other house so I have to keep it up because it's brutal if you are away two or three weeks and then come back and have to start over. Oh my god, yes, yes. And you, you know, and, and that is so important because I'm sure like a lot of you guys out there are like, I travel a lot, can it fit my schedule and, and yeah, we can make it work. And, and with the bands and things like stability that. Stability ball, yeah. all that good stuff. And now, um, I mean, ha with your experience and whatnot, have you referred anyone or be, would you? Yes. Um, we went to Cuba, speaking of travel, um, in September of last year. 
and one of the couples that was with us, they were both hitting 70 this year. Uh -huh. And okay. they were asking us how we were keeping in shape, because Chuck, my husband, is also um, a client. And after we got back, they made a decision, after they got back from Florida this, this March, they made a decision to commit to working out and getting back in shape. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. That is and we have, I have another golfer friend, March, yep. Yep. Um, and then another younger friend that was impressed with Chuck's oh, right. weight loss right. and shape that yep. said yep. if he can do it, if nope. Chuck can do it, he can do it. That's nope. Scott. Was that Scott? Yeah, yeah, that was Scott. So, yeah. yeah so. Um, that's awesome and, and we just love you here and, and it's so great to, to just you know see your progress and, and help both you and your husband because I know it's very important to you both and um, and I love it that you know you're came in you know in, in your later years but like the other thing is you're never too late to, to get going on this and then to keep it you know? I've never been what you would term athletic Yep. Growing up in the South, you know, it's more like just proper, ladylike, well, the hair and the makeup and yeah. the clothes and yeah. stuff. But then, if you don't have any the, the uh, energy and the health and the fitness, well, it what good are you? Right, know. right. <laughs> but I got something I want to share with you. Now, you just mentioned about, about you know the anti-aging post, but you know I have been working on something very top secret. Oh. Yes. Now, I've been doing this New for splash. years. Yes. I've actually been try, trying to actually, me and my team do the exercises and then you get the results. And I'll pay you double. Hey, you heard it right here. Well, thank you so much, Deborah, uh, for your experience and sharing with others. And uh, like Deborah, she's very happy. You, you, you don't see an end to this. Nope. All right. No. All right. Well, well. The pine box. Well, six feet under. Is the, let's let's <laughs> delay that as long as possible. That's the goal. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. You're welcome. All right. Hey, now don't you just love all our clients? Oh my God, that was such an awesome interview. I love Deborah. She is just she's like a ray of sunshine when she comes in here. Just kind of lights up the studio. Oh, uh, her and Chuck. I mean, oh. and they're so good. They've been so good to us, referring from like Marge, Scott, you know, the binders, you know. Yeah. So it's really great. So what do you think, Ed? I, th I think it's time for our Q&A. Let's hit it. All right. Let's hit it. All right, next up, a little Q&A. Hey, welcome, guys, to our segment, Ask the Expert. We're so excited, and this is a chance for viewers like you to email in all your questions as far as, is this true, not true, what am I supposed to believe, I read this, I read that, you know, what, what, what's true in the, in the health and fitness industry. So, with Ask the, Ask the Expert, we're going to answer these questions. Now, feel free to uh, email in jim at individualfitnessllc.com and we'll get your uh, questions answered. Now, the last week, Kate, we've been flooded with one predominant question, and that is, does muscle weigh more than fat? Dun, so, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that is a good question. I think that we should go out, hit the streets, yeah, and like yeah. just see what the public has to say. I think so too. If there's that many, we were flooded. There's that many people. Let's go see what Carger, New Hampshire, has to say about this. Oh, I think it's a great plan. So we will answer that question. So we're gonna get others and see what they think. So Kate. Let's take the fitness wheels and to the streets. I'm a lady in this. Hey there. Okay, so we this young gentleman just was kind enough to ask so our uh, answer our question. So, sir, does muscle weigh more than fat? Yes. Okay. Well, hey, we have this young gentleman here. We want to know does muscle weigh more than fat? Uh, less. All right. Thank you very <laughs> much. All right. This young lady here with us. So. Does muscle weigh more than fat? I'm not sure, but I know muscle takes up less space than fat. All right. So. <laughs> All right. There you go. Thank you for it. All right. Thanks to those wonderful strangers that we met along the way answering our questions. So the question was, does muscle weigh more than fat? Kate, what was your answer? I did. I have one. Oh, I, don't, maybe, I can't maybe remember. Not. Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> I so, left that to the people on the streets. Uh, there was. Yes. Now, thanks again. They were. They were so nice. Uh, so the answer is muscle weighs the same as fat. 
A really? Pound, yeah. <laughs> Tell me more. A pound is a pound is a pound. Now here is is behind it. And people don't know why so many people will give up if they're just judging their success on the scale. And they're, they're seeing that the weight's not moving. Um, muscle takes up less space. It's, it's denser, so it takes less volume up. So you could be actually losing body fat, keeping your lean muscle, and then actually staying the same weight. Doesn't mean your fitness program, the nutrition, cardio is not working. Okay. So Great. there, and then to demonstrate that, we love visuals. We love visuals. Demos. Here's the demo. Okay, this is why the BMI is no good. All right, so two pounds. This is a two-pound ball. It's probably maybe I don't know, extra large, double extra large. Here's a two-pound weight. They're both going to weigh the same, but then, again, this is denser, takes up less space. So now you're going into so an extra small. So this is the fat. This is the fat. That's this, the muscle. This is the muscle. <laughs> you know, like the there hole. There it is. Right oh, there. yeah. You know, wow. It's green, right? <laughs> Do you need right. me to spot you? That's a big weight there. Hey, right hey, now. ask my brother. Yeah. Ask right. my brother. Can we get Two a spot? Yeah. Where's mama? <laughs> Where's mama oh, wires? Anyway, yeah. so there you have it, guys. Uh, muscle, fat, weigh the same. Muscle takes less space. It's denser. Fat's much larger. I think I'll go with that one. I I'm think going that's with this the one, one I want. Yeah, <laughs> this one right here. All right, there you have it. Okay, now, didn't you? Now, we just learned a little bit more about muscle versus fat. Which weighs more, which weighs less. They both weigh the same. Uh, all right, so now, which leads us to our next segment. What's cooking with I? What? what is cooking? Hopefully, I, it's not burning. Oh my What's, god. Not, no. in, not in Jim's kitchen. Not, not in the IF kitchen. <laughs> no. All right, so let's wait and see. Hey guys, hey, welcome to the kitchen, the IF kitchen. I'm very excited to. First one ever we're going to do is a smoothie. Now, with smoothies, originally they were just basically protein and water. Now, and then meal replacements came along, so here came the smoothies. Now, the problem with a lot of smoothies is they're very cal caloric loaded or very high in calories and, and they're really not true to size to what the serving should be. So you could w w very easily do about a thousand calories and not even know it. So a lot of people are on this big health kick, they want to lose weight, let's make some smoothies and you know they can't figure out why they're gaining weight. Well they're having, what, you know, could be 750 calories, a thousand. So we're gonna we're gonna do a little prep and, and you know here's a basic one, you know it's a, it's a berry zinger. Now, the the real thing calls for like two scoops of protein, a whole cup of berries, mixed berries, uh, a whole orange, sixteen or twelve ounce water, and like ten ice cubes. Now, that's a lot and that's like over three hundred fifty calories plus. And actually, I have it right here, so I have the notes. Now, what what should it be? Well, we're going to cut it down, all right, to about 275 calories. I mean, that's 75 calories, what is it, 50, 75 calories, whatever it is. I mean, we're saving some calories there. Um, so we're going to do an 8-ounce water, all right, because that's actually a serving size, 2 scoops protein. Now with our Champion Nutrition Protein, you only need one scoop, four ounce water to every scoop. So eight ounce, two scoops. So we have two scoops of protein. We're going to cut to a quarter of an orange, a quarter cup of mixed berries, and a, a teaspoon of cinnamon. The other one called for a whole tablespoon. I mean, so it's not your fault. We're here to educate. And, and you're going to be motivated, and then we're going to hold you accountable as well. But without further ado, let's make this here. So, and I really want to do this in action time. Now, there's four keys to success, and it's the plan, the prep, the do, the track. All right. So we've done some, you know, speeding up all that. We planned it. We looked at. It. We want a smoothie, is berry zinger. Let's uh, make it less calories. We prepped everything. Now let's put it into action. So let's first get a eight ounce thing of water. Here, eight ounce. Now back in home ec class, okay, I did take home ec, believe it or not. I can sew a pillow. Um, <laughs> we get down to eye level. See, now that's a little bit more in the cup. I'm not quite the Julia Child. You got foolish. You know, here you go. And so we got eight ounce. I'm going to put this in our ninja. 
And now here's the other thing. I wanted to do this a year ago with my brother and I. And a lot of people start an exercise routine. They go, oh, it's too, too late or blah, blah, blah. You're never too late. We've had this thing for over a year, year and a half. Now we're putting it to use. So let's add the water. Let's add, here's a full orange. Let's just add a quarter. All right. Here's a little tea, teaspoon. Was this a teaspoon or a tablespoon? I'm just going to measure just to, to um, the importance of this. You cannot eyeball because we need the track. So we got cups. Let's go here. We got tablespoons. We're going to find out what we need here. We're going to find out what we need. We need a teaspoon. Teaspoon. Right here. Okay. So a teaspoon. Cinnamon. Okay. Teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. Then we did the quarter orange. We are now doing a quarter cup of uh, quarter cup of uh, berries, mixed berries. Quarter cup. Well, there's there, Zeus. There's Zeus. There's our hey, Zeusy. mascot. There he is. So, yep. I just dumped the quarter cup. Notice, all right, it's very important to measure. You manage what you measure, you can't measure what you don't manage, okay? Um, and we need the two scoops of protein. You can find this in our IF studio, by the way. It's the best of the best. Um, no, put that there, there we'll go. Hands are washed. Now, what's commonly, too, you're gonna find, you're gonna need to find and roll around this little, uh, Got to find the scoop. So since I've just washed my hands, they're clean. We're gonna dig. The scooper is in here. Lo and behold. So we're gonna go one scoop, followed by the second scoop, and then I like things at room temperature. Could be a little bit of the German in me. However, most people don't. So let's add some ice cubes. Let's add some ice cubes. No calorie. No calorie. Let's blend the sucker. And let's see, good thing I work out. So some ice cubes in here. Hang on. This is a ninja, but I don't think I need that many here. There you go. You can always add more. Off the cutting room. Yep, good. Okay, cover's on. Alright, let's fire it up. Locked into place. Okay, let's put it aside. It looks very delicious. Very delicious. Now, the next thing we need to do, all right, now that looks to me a little bit more than eight ounces, right? Serving size is has never changed, eight ounces. Okay. So let's go in here. Uh, let's go in here, and I, mean, I have the IF bottle here, but I'd rather do something like this. Do the IF shaker bottle. Alright, get the IF shaker bottle. Let's fill this for 8 ounces. Now, now the nice thing about these, I can have two if I fill this to 16 ounces or just eight so it can take this on the go for again that three o'clock snack. If I gotta go bring it to the office, put it in the fridge, I've already got a snack later in the day. Uh, but let's just take a look at eight ounces. I got a better idea. Let's put eight ounces in here to say we're true. Alright, see now, most people would have drank all that extra and thought it was 8 ounces, but you've got to stay, again, to the calculations, alright, and that's where most people get lost and like, they can't understand why they're not losing weight, they're still eating too many calories or having too much of that, of the amount of that food here, so, then if I'm at home, I pour a glass, have it, but, 
I need to take this to go to work. Okay, boom, boom. And we got the eight ounces, put it on to go, and it's healthy. Now, let's see how it tastes. Well, that is pretty damn good. Now, not only by our clients, but how great was that smoothie? Oh, it was delicious. That oh. little hint of cinnamon, it was just, it was so good. Oh my God. And oh. the mixed berries. It may be my new favorite. I yeah, mean, it was pretty good. And nutritious, and now remember guys, that's an entire meal, all right? All right, so there you have it guys. Our episode number one is in the books. A success, we did it. The oh pilot God, right is taken there. off. Right there. Woo! I mean, thanks to, to, to everyone, the strangers. The strangers. The, the strangers. the Q&A. strangers in the night. The strangers in the night. John doing the videotape. That's me. There he is. All right, and there he is. And, uh, I mean, uh, our kitchen, the Athena there, she kitchen. was trying to work while we were in there making smoothies. Zeus, I mean, Zeus oh, came the right Prince in. Prince of Darkness was in there. Saya. It was great. It he was great. Everyone got involved. Oh my God, awesome. our wonderful client of the month. And yeah. um, I don't know, it's just so much more. We're going to keep bringing it. You know, it's going to get better and better and better. Remember the 999,000, the millionth one. The millionth Can you imagine episode. imagine that one? All right. Everyone's going to get a new car. There you go. But we'll stay right here in the moment, <laughs> yeah. you know, ending uh, the first episode. And we have a lot of segments that are in the works and a lot of cool things to come. I'm hitting the streets and different Q&As and recipes and other, other segments. So stay yeah. tuned for those. Oh, they're going to be really cool. Not only that, too, we'll get John, the other co-founder. We'll get all our stuff. I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm basically at the edge of my seat. There right, he is. There I am. Better um, cut it before he yeah, falls. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. And we look forward to it. Remember, uh, InFit, the YouTube, uh, email us in, visit us on the Facebook. I mean, we're taking over the nation. <laughs>